Okay, I believe I have everything where I want it. I don't need to, I don't need any more aromatherapy at the moment. There's about one third. I'm going to, let me jiggle test. I'm going to say 40% of one can of Red Bull, 8.4 ounce left. Quick, what's it? What is it? How much is left? <laughs> Pop quiz. So, yeah. Should I, should I clean out my spitty before I spit into it? That's, you know, that's on a par with, should I make my, that's on a par with, do washcloths, you know, like the way I said that for the plurality of it? The English language. <clears throat> I do enjoy proper enunciation, thank you. Mmm! <clears throat> I'm pretty stoked today. I'm going to tell you why. Now, I'm in a good mood today. So, it's on a par with whatever I was getting ready to lead up to that was so damn clever. Not make your bed. But now the next one. See, I'm so clever, I forgot what I said. What I was going to say. It was clever, too. Should I clean out my spittoon before I begin to reutilize my spittoon? Well, that's on a par with asking, should I make my bed? Ah, there it is. Thank you. Towel, towel. Don't ever forget towel. I'm pretty stoned at this point. Whew. Uh, towel, towel. Don't get off of towel. No crib, no Johnny. Right. That's like saying, do washcloths need to be washed? Oh, wait. See, it was worth it. Help me. Pack this little gerbil. <coughs> nope, nope. Dip. Pack this bit of dip into my cheek and gum. My cheek and gum. <sighs> gerbil packing. You know, fads come, fads go. What is it they also say? Things have a way of going in circles, right? Maybe instead of gerbil packing, it should be something like, how about, hmm, that, that's for emphasis. No, I'm actually packing my dip in the can. I know, it's a nervous habit. Why would you need to pack, I know. Tasmanian devil packing? Can you say that? I mean, you'd have to have a pretty big ass to enjoy Tasmanian devil packing, I guess is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. No, my spirits are bright. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to tell you why. <clears throat> it would seem <laughs> that there's a young lady in one of my stops when I do, when the bear does venture out of the den and goes out and gets, you know, various things. I can say sundries, but then you'd have to look up sundries. No, you wouldn't because you don't really care, and I don't blame you. For not caring. Well, I've been known to enjoy a, what do you call it? Let's keep it real. We gotta keep it on the down low. I cannot endanger this young lady's identity in any way, shape, or form. She needs to be protected at all costs. Are you feeling me? Okay, we're in this? Okay. So, if you do hear anything, and you do think anything's right, and you think you know who it is, you know, off yourself somehow. Just, you know, what is it, garden hose in the window, and just asphyxiate yourself. All for the sake of this young lady and her honor. Yep. Yeah. Went in today. 
Oh, she played it cool, too. <laughs> she comes to the register. She's like, how can I help you? And I'm like, you got any of those blueberry muffins? She's like, yeah, we got, we got them in the back. I was like, can I get four of them? She's like, sure. And off she goes to the back. All right, here's where I gotta like be totally, you know, Mr. Me, Mr. Transparency. <clears throat> While she was away from her station. The tip cup, man, they moved it, right? It was like, oh, was like, does that say tip on it? I think it says tip, but she got tucked behind some shit. So, you know, I, I threw a, I threw a, I threw a, threw a fin down in there. I know fin. I know I'm dating myself. But I'm a fun time. You might want to consider it dating. So, I, I threw a fin down in there. Now, if I'm being totally, I gotta be fair. Maybe a week or so, or ten days or so, or before. I was waited on by this young lady, and I said to the crew, when she was going back to get my blueberry donuts, blood pressure, because you're getting really happy, I know. <laughs> oh, my goodness, this is made, oh, oh, I'm in love with God, Daddy. Let me tell you what, man. <laughs> uh, oh, I love my father. <laughs> closer I get to you, the more you make me see. Yeah, if you take, if I take a step, if I take a step towards my Heavenly Father, He takes a step towards me. And it's just, you know, you know, I'm kind of smitten on Him, even though He is the, you know, the Father of the head household, authoritarian, blah, blah, blah. Did you get a deduction for that? Does the treasury give you a deduction for head household at least? I mean, because you're not married. How's that work? Do you get deduction? Do you get ahead of households filing status at least? Do you even pay your taxes to the U.S. Treasury? Okay, I'm back. I was talking to God. You yeah, don't even need crib notes for this. I can wander as, as far as the east is from the west. Yes. Zapad Vostok. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Well, when I went in today and placed my order, and she went off to get my blueberries, I found that tip cup. I had to reach around two things and over a couple more, slipped another fin in there. This time, because the last time she was off to get them, I know I'm stoned as shit, but it's a great story. You just stay with me. Okay, no, no, finish that. Wait, you should finish the prior, right? The, the the prequel. You should do that. Okay, that would help the listening audience. Okay. So I told, told the crew while I back in the first, first time. It's like, here, this $5. What do y'all say? Make sure it goes into her hands. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta be fair. I gotta tell you everything. So this time she was off to get my blueberry muffins. I found that daggone tip drawer thingy little cuff. I think it's sharpie markings on there. It looked like it said tip, so I shoved another fin in there. Another five. Another Abraham. And then she comes back, I noticed that. Is there something different about her appearance? Because. This young lady has a lovely set. Excuse me. This young lady is has a lovely bosom. And I've never noticed it before. Between the last uh, uh, opportunity to see uh, gaze upon this young lady and this one, I have never noticed that she's that her chest is handsome. <clears throat> Finish my transaction. And I want to say, those little eyes. Yeah, then you get a quick cut over to that cup. Ah, 
out of the river, and she was ringing me up. There's little eyes. Took it. Shot over that cup. I finished up my transaction, and I thanked her. I said, thank you, young lady. And as I start to walk away, she says, you have a good day. And by the way, my name is Megan. And I turned around and I took, in a gentlemanly posture, one to two steps back towards the lady who had just addressed me. With really, and a question. If you are a gentleman, that is a question. And you'd better turn on a dime and answer the lady's question. You never ignore a lady's question. And I turned. I took one or two steps towards her, across the towards the floor in between us, sales floor. And I said, and my name is John. I'm very pleased to meet you. And I turned back around 180 and walked. Now I'm struggling to remember, did I walk over to her to reach for her hand? No, I would not have done such a thing. I'm a 59-year-old man, and this is a 20-something-year-old girl. Remember, I've told you it's happened before. <laughs> and this, and I, I must be very careful now because should I go into that establishment again? I must be very careful. Kid gloves at all times. I must protect this young lady's honor because you see, this young lady is Down syndrome. And I have been approached by females of a much younger age before Megan in the last two or three years. At most I've just sent away, I've pushed away outright. And the one before Megan, I listened to the man and I allowed the man to reach out and his hand was cut off as it should have been. Yes, as it should have been. And based on what has happened today with number five, Really? Number five? <sighs> Who has Down syndrome? Yes, I must be very careful with this angel. Indeed. As I hold her in the highest of regard, in the highest of esteem, in the highest of ranking. Lord, let me say it the correct order. You bring it to my mind and then you, you mess with me. I gotta blame you, but you bring it to my mind. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. I hope I have said that correctly. And, of course, I am a man of my word, 
and I, as I have informed you, because I felt the need to, because yes, it had been attacked by those near and dear to me, nearish and dearish to me. I have been accused and I have been called names without them being heard by the ear. And yet I've been called them and they're not nice things. But this young lady today, Megan, is by far and away the greatest of my temptations. Because I don't have the right word to use. She is the greatest of my honors to be she is the most colorful of banners that have been allowed to flutter to my feet And I am grateful to my God that he has made me somewhat like my mother in that I am able to reach and be reached by those that would do neither to be reached or to reach out to this young lady I don't know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying because I don't know what I'm saying It is an honor as if it were a, a medal, not a ribbon at my feet, but a medal pinned on a, a medal on a ribbon on my chest. That someone, angel, can I say angel? Aren't they usually angelic? Those that are born down syndrome, aren't they usually angelic? Aren't they usually the happy ones? The happy ones at no cost to you. And should I not take joy in that one of these souls has felt comfortable near me yes i should take joy in that i should turn to my heavenly father and say thank you for letting for letting the children see me they see me you know little children they trust me they are eager to unless they're an asshole okay that one kid at the church what an out church and a hole really in the same tooth okay sorry but the kid was a prick god and you know it oh what a snot okay i'm gone where was i children oh i'm gone darn it children is it not 
Am I not to be? Am I not to be envied? Fess. Fess. <laughs> Am I not to be envied? Is, is the day not mine? Just today. Give me just today. I love you all.